So we have the second inning program because it's the second inning program. Get this video to two likes. Now, if you're new here and up new on today's content, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Also, follow me on all social medias at BladeMist. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. And while looking at that, click on the channel, click on the community tab, interact with me there, and also turn on that notification bell. So the most important thing with any conquest map is to look at the missions because you don't want to complete it and then let's say not get the program stars or do all of the objectives necessary. So here we have to remember we have to steal 2 million fans and we need to capture the San Diego Padres stronghold on the first turn. So there is a turn requirement but luckily for us it is only for one stronghold. So it's pretty simple what we do here. We're going to go straight up to the San Diego Padres and we're going to be facing them on all-star difficulty so you have to beat them on all-star difficulty you really don't have any other choice so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to jump in and basically take them out so we just went ahead and beat the san diego padres on all-star difficulty usually i like scoring a run and then just getting out with everyone else because i don't like wasting too much time and as you guys saw right there the first pack is going to be a standard pack so since you can't get any of the other strongholds without of course clearing this path first we're just gonna go ahead and make our way towards the next team we're gonna take which is gonna be the boston red sox here now since we're about to attack the boston red sox the smartest thing to do is to steal the two million fans away from them now you might want to do this on rookie difficulty twice if you're a new player but trust me even if you are a new player just do it on veteran get it done in one go unless you're doing team affinities if you're doing team affinities then of course do two steal one million fans on rookie difficulty and then go ahead and capture all the strongholds to get all the objective done and get your program stars basically but we're personally gonna go face the boston red sox on veteran difficulty take two million fans away and then capture their stronghold and so far we got a standard pack out of the rewards for this conquest map as well just want to keep that in track so we just beat the boston red sox on veteran difficulty to knock out the steel fans face mission now we got ourselves silver sunglasses and xp reward and it's pretty simple what we do now all we do is reinforce that leading territory all we got was experience and stubs for that we're gonna have five million fans and i believe with five million fans we can go ahead and face them on all-star difficulty or what you could do and this will be a lot easier for a lot of you is you skip to steal fans you reinforce one more time get to seven million fans go to attack and now you'll be able to face them on veterans so i suggest you go ahead and do that if you want to make life easier for yourself we're gonna go ahead beat them on veteran and come right back now that we got the boston red sox stronghold out of the way all we're gonna do is basically make a beeline towards whichever team is closest to us so it's either gonna be the Mets or the Chicago White Sox. To me, let's calculate the spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if we go for the White Sox, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're both six. It looks like it would be a little bit easier to go after the, well, actually, it doesn't really matter who we choose. We just need to go after one of them. So I think that I'm gonna continue this path and I'm gonna go straight towards the White Sox. Now, if you're new here, I'm gonna go ahead and interest you into checking out No Money Spent Ranked Seasons and No Money Spent Battle Royale. We will be dropping an episode today for both of them. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and are on the lookout for that. Now you guys can capture all the territories down there on the bottom half of your screen if you'd like to. To me, it's not necessary to go ahead and then do this. We're actually gonna go after these 1 million fans instead of the one close to the 4 million. And you have to do that strategically because if you went after the 1 million, let's say that was right here, and then you beat them, the 5 million fans would most likely attack your 1 million instantly and start working its way back up your line. So, as you guys can see, now we could attack. It's on all-star difficulty, that's fine. All we do is skip to steal fans, reinforce one more time, reinforce the 5 million fans, and then we should be good to go. We should be able to face them on veteran difficulty. It's actually gonna be all-star still. So, you can reinforce just one more time. They're gonna attack you, although, keep that in mind. Luckily for us, we 
lost the first time around but didn't lose the second time around we're gonna have 13 million fans this time around and that's enough to play on veteran so we're gonna go ahead beat them on veteran and then of course we're gonna make our way towards the new york mets so the chicago white Sox just got beat down basically 4-2 i just try to run out as i tell you all that's what you want to do you never want to play these games for too long now here i don't feel like capturing any of these two territories so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip to steal fans face, right? Then I'm going to go to reinforce. I'm going to reinforce at my capital right here. And we're going to go right after the Mets. But before we do that, keep in mind, you are going to have to move your fans over to the leading territory that you now have. And it should be relatively easy to actually get to the Mets and probably face them on veteran difficulty. Now, just like previously when facing the White Sox, you don't want to go next to one of the enormous territories that they have because have no doubt they will try to capture you. Now, once again, you don't want to go ahead and face them on All-Star. That's fine. You just go ahead, reinforce one more time, skip to attack. And then boom, you got veteran, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and beat him. Okay, so you get a hidden pack for capturing the Mets. And unlike any other team, with the Mets, you are gonna have to take out the big territories. Why, you might be asking? Well, if you don't, the Mets will for sure go ahead and just round you up and attack your stronghold and try to regain it. But by going ahead and taking away the big dogs that they have, you make it basically a lot more difficult. And now it should be impossible for them to actually go ahead since they can't reconnect with these 2 million fans. So all we're going to do now is skip once again the steel fans phase, reinforce. We're going to reinforce our new leading territory. And then since everything is still connected, thankfully... We're just going to make a beeline right after the Seattle Mariners. You could go after those 2 million fans right there. It wouldn't be a bad idea, except for the fact that 6 million is on top of them. So I'll take that back. It would be a horrible idea because the 6 million fans, they would attack you instantly. All we can get is Hall of Fame right now or All-Star, excuse me. So we're just going to reinforce, get ourselves to 18 million fans, and that should give us veteran Let's go ahead, beat them on veteran, two strongholds left. So after we beat the Seattle Mariners, we're going to be in a similar predicament as we were with the New York Mets. They're going to have a good amount of fans around them. So you want to make sure you cut off their energy or you cut off their lifeline as soon as possible. So we're going to go after the 6 million fans and hopefully just cut that out then take away the 3 million and then take away the 4 million because even though it might not seem necessary it's necessary well they just made it a whole lot easier for us by attacking our path we have to regain that path because if we don't regain it then it's going to be a lot more difficult for us to go after the two remaining strongholds since we won't be able to reinforce the leading territory but since they now wasted the millions of fans they had in those two other territories now they can't reinforce these two since they don't have any stronghold to reinforce from and that's going to make it a lot easier for us to just go after the los angeles angels so thank you cpu thank you for being overly aggressive and basically costing yourself a opportunity to get back at us now of course we got the six million fans to worry about so we want to make sure that we don't go ahead and provoke them to attack us just yet. So we're gonna skip to steal. We're gonna reinforce one more time. Here, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be facing them regardless. If we go after the one million or if we go after the six million, we're gonna be facing them regardless. I'm kinda hoping that they attack us first rather than the other way around, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. So we're gonna skip to steal, skip to reinforce, reinforce 11 million fans and that should be good enough to allow us to face them on veteran, and it is, so let's beat them and then basically take away the 11 million and then the 7 million. Now, I did not know I did not have my face cam on until just now while I was recording. So, holy cow, let's go one at a time here. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me.
they waited till it was the perfect time for me to turn it back on to do me dirty like that. MLB The Show has to be doing these things on purpose. I am convinced. But holy cow, man. I'm Right now, I'm in shock. Not only because that was just Bryce Harper and we almost got ourselves a free diamond. But this is what happened here. So I went ahead and played the first stronghold game. And the weirdest thing in the world happened. A shot to center field by one of the Los Angeles Angels player. Juan Soto refuses to pick up the ball. It hits the warning track and he just doesn't want to pick it up. And I'm running all over it and I'm like, what is going on with this game? So I say, you know what? Usually I always save the clips, but I never upload them because I don't know. I just choose not to. But this time around, I said instantly, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this clip. So what did I do? I went to the storage and I started trimming it and it said I suspended the application. Now usually when you suspend the application, I'm not sure whether or not you're supposed to get a network error, but I did. So unfortunately, I ended up losing whatever game I was in, which I was leading three to two, and I uploaded the clip. So if you wanna see the clip, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at BladeMiss, it's up on Twitter. And make sure you hit that like button on it so the San Diego Studios devs can go ahead, or I should say it will be the show devs, can go ahead and take a look at it. This is going to be the final stronghold game for us. After that, we're just going to capture everything. So far, we've only gotten one pack, I believe. And then after that, it's been just stubs and experience. So let's go ahead, knock out this game. And then hopefully, holy cow, man, come on. I'm pretty sure I pressed analog stick home. So I was expecting him to be running. It was a double regardless, so I ain't even complaining. Let's go ahead and win this. Now, I kid you not, I've never had a team do me like the Oakland Athletics did. They beat me the first time. And then the second time around, they almost beat me again until the top of the third where, I kid you not, I hit like six back to back to back to back home runs. So we completed six out of the nine goals. We get a prospect set nine pack. And now this is probably the most boring part. So what I'll end up doing is most likely just either A, fast forwarding it, or B, just showing you guys wherever a pack actually appears. Just took that. We get a pack for getting the corner at the bottom. Can't allow them to get a circle around us because if they do, then we'll be in trouble. I don't think we did it exactly correct. Yeah, we're going to have plus one. Okay, so prospect set one. All right, there's a hidden pack there too. So we got a prospect set one. We got a hidden pack. All right, for the final territory, let's see if there's anything there. And no, there is not going to be anything there. But... As you guys saw, there was a prospect set one and a prospect set three. Everything else is just standard packs, some hidden stubs, some hidden experience. You get, I believe in total, three to four standard packs then a prospect set three, prospect set one. So at the end of the day, not really too bad of a conquest map, but not as juicy as the shark map either. Anyways, if you did end up enjoying today's content, I asked for two likes, so make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss, same way as spelled. On the YouTube channel username, click on the channel, click on the community tab, interact with me there, turn on that notification bell, stay blessed. Or have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Wash your hands, take care of your elders, take care of your family. And if you're feeling sick, get yourself checked out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.